Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is in partnership with Head and Shoulders, and it is how I stay motivated and productive. First thing I do is turn off my alarm because it is loud and annoying, and it's just good to have some peace in the house, definitely. Um, I refrain from checking any emails or messages the first thing in the morning, just feels like it disrupts with my, I guess, morning routine. I like to make my bed, so that's like one task off the list, and it makes me feel productive just from the start. Self-care is really, really important. Uh, that means checking in with yourself, meditating, and definitely self-hygiene. Um, skincare is a must. So the first thing I do is hop into the shower, and I'm using Head & Shoulders, um, the Deep Moisture Collection, and they have a Deep Moisture Shampoo and a Deep Moisture Conditioner. This, this line just helps rejuvenate and detoxify the scalp while keeping your scalp moisturized so you don't get dandruff or any flakies. It also gets rid of any itchy scalp and redness, so it's really, really important. Zinc Pyrithion is an active ingredient that helps combat dandruff, so it's really great to just prevent that early on. Uh, dry scalp will lead to a lot of flakiness, even hair loss and breakage, so you definitely want to go with a shampoo that not only cleans your hair but also moisturizes it at the same time. I think most people forget that scalp is actually skin and the Head & Shoulders Deep Moisture Collection received a Shape 2018 Beauty Award in the skincare category which is the first time I've seen a shampoo brand be considered a skincare. After you're done toweling off, you'll find that your hair is very very shiny and moisturized and just good healthy scalp you know no dryness and itchiness and after that you can do everything more confidently after you're done with that next up is skincare you know how skincare is so important i go in with the claire's toner and then i go in with a vitamin c serum to help lighten any hyperpigmentations and any i guess um pimple scarring after that, I go in with a sunscreen because sunscreen is a must. I prefer physical sunscreens over chemical sunscreens, and this one's so lightweight and it just doesn't break me out. After your skincare is done and your hair care is done, you are ready to start the day. I usually like starting out with cleaning my space because a clean space is a clean mind and whenever I have clutter or like any mess around, I really just can't focus just because I know I'll get distracted and want to clean it. So I just try to get that out of the way the first, you know, just first out the bat. And making the bed definitely helps. Put all my dirty laundry away um, and my clean laundry into the drawers. And after that, I start with my day. The first thing I do is warm my body up with a nice hot slash warm beverage. I like to make myself a really nice cup of coffee. Um, if you have a nice cup of coffee in the morning, I feel like it really does set the mood and sets the day right, I think. Um, it's just such a nice comforting feeling and having a routine is just really, really, I guess, assuring and it just makes sure things go in order after that i check all my emails and my messages to see what is on the agenda for the day planning is extremely important because without planning you really have no direction of what you want to do so i usually make a list just like this one and i split it out into five important tasks a day i think that's very doable like five tasks um, it could be like working out editing filming um, work um, calling your mom i think i like to break them down into components so that the task seems less daunting if that makes sense I think preparation is really, really important for the task. So once you write down each component, you can tackle the components easier. For example, if I want to film a video, you know, you need to prep. So I prep first and then I sit down and then I, you know, get my camera equipment ready versus just writing down filming. It's very vague. So try to tackle those small components. Uh, after that, you just check off whatever you've done and see what you've completed. This way, it gives a very satisfying feeling to see all those check marks. And I think it's just it's just a really, really um, like a 
you feel accomplished after you're able to check things off. So when you're done doing that, don't forget to take some time to reward yourself and play. My cat always sits next to me while I'm working. She just keeps me company. It's just nice to have company, you know, since I work at home. Also, it's really important to take care of your body, guys. Um, the body is just important as the mind is. I feel like um, exercise, breathing, and stretching is extremely important for just daily maintenance, I guess. I work out at home and I also work out at the gym depending on my mood. I also eat a very high vegetable-based diet. Um, Occasionally when I go out, I'll eat a little bit of meat, but I try not to. And I don't take dairy as well. Lastly, I think it's good to end the day with a purpose and remind yourself why you're doing the things you're doing. Um, I mean, there's, there's no reason to work so hard when you can't really enjoy the fruits of your labor take some time off to think about why you're happy and what makes you happy and why you're doing what you're doing and why you're existing in the world you know i think it's really really important to not forget everything that you love and what you love to do and not lose that childlike wonder yeah i hope this video helps and thank you so much for head and shoulders for partnering with me for this video and i'll see you guys in my next video i love you guys Bye.